What's cracking guys, JP here again, doing another update of my 20 gallon reef tank. Now in this tank, I'm just gonna go over what's been going on in the livestock. Next thing is what equipment I have added in and the lastly is how my refugium or algae scrubber kind of thing is going on. So let's start off with the first thing. As you can see in front of you guys, there is no firefish going on. Well, what happened is, uh, when I added it in, they were all clear, but the next day, the first firefish jumped out and it was dead dried up on the floor. The second firefish was so torn apart from the clownfish, the fins were gone, it was badly injured. So I just moved it in the back of the tank until I find it a better home or until it gets recovered and give it back to the fish store. So my advice is, put the least or at least aggressive or the shy fish first then put the aggressive one last in my situation my clownfish basically claimed the whole territory so that's one thing I learned next thing is my corals has been doing pretty well my green digi has been growing very uh, big and basically the frag plug can't handle it so I just put it in the floor or in the bottom of the tank my GSP basically encroached on the glass as you can see right here, it's both sides and looks like it's on this, uh, this other side and then this side, it's about 2 inch or 3 inch in size. My red Monty, as you can see it's everywhere, it's growing everywhere, it's doing pretty well. I did frag a green torch right there because that smaller head was uh, not receiving any light because of the head was covering under it. And I fragged it and looks like it's recovering well. I moved back the gold hammer back there because it was I didn't have enough space back here, so I just have to move it. Looks like everything's doing well. The clownfish is fat and healthy. And let's move on to the new equipments. Alright, on to the new experiment or equipment. What we have here is my ATO system it's basically an aqua lifter pump attached to a digital timer and this is my container it's a one gallon jug just in case if it does go on the on position of mal or malfunction then it doesn't basically overflow the system as bad what we have here is three holes we have a black line this is where the water gets sucked in put it to put in my tank and this is the white tube is my overflow in case it does turn on and it will just go back into the system just recycle hopefully I don't have to use the white tube as much and right there is the aqua lifter pump just go up into the container up here I just basically drilled another hole attached the tubing this is the overflow tubing right here and this is the main tube that put the water in and looks like I, it just did for one cup. I calculated for my system or this pump, it basically calculates about 12 ml per minute. So that takes about 20 minutes for one cup. And looks like it's dripping slowly. So far, so good. In the past couple days, it's been working well for me. Hopefully, it doesn't fail. But it does, then I got some backups. So this is just an experiment. Let's move on to my refugium update. Alrighty, so guys, this is my refugium right here in front of you. And for this tank, I have not changed the water for a month. And I have been feeding heavily for my clownfish and a new firefish in the back. And back here is full of algae of my Tratomorpha. I just gotta basically use a turkey baster and just suck it out when I change the filter floss right here. And my refugium or algae scrubber right here is working as I planned. So what we have here is very thick algae, as you can see. And it's just growing from the light in my tank and my refugium. So I'm gonna turn off my pump and we're going to remove the algae. Right? Pumps off. Just gonna scrape this out and see how much we can get today. Oh man, dang, look at that. 
Holy crap. So this is what I got for about a few weeks, a couple weeks. Look at that, it's like thick. That's pure green hair algae right there. You can probably get more. Let's see here. For my system, I basically kind of just wait this out for about, eh, I would say, two weeks of harvesting. But so far lately, I have been feeding this tank so much more that it's basically been overgrowing so everything. So, so far it's working. So that's good. We go now that's clean. We'll see here. All right. So this is what I got. Two weeks or more. It doesn't want to focus on me. There we go. Oh. It's two weeks. It's just nasty. It's a lot. It's like two big balls. So that's basically what I have been doing in the past two months is letting this thing grow and looks like it's working and funny thing is I don't even have any algae on my rocks so it's been growing all over my refugium and algae scrubber so that's a good sign I'm growing it where I want it to be and I just basically harvested it it's an algae scrubber with no pump it's just a runoff so that's good wow that's my update so far guys I'm just sorry I haven't uploaded any video in the past couple weeks or month just life is just so busy especially in my school and I hope you guys will learn from my lesson and use my new ideas or inno innovations to use to your own and thanks for watching my video thanks for the subscribers thanks for the comments and likes and I hope you guys have a happy reefing so Adios. Follow the wind, but watch your back. certainties in life, honor, death, and hangovers.